Hey everyone, today we're looking into a common problem in photography, especially taking pictures with your camera if you're out at a restaurant or a pub, and it's called a color cast. Take a look at this picture here. Now you can see that a lot of the colors look, kind of look cool in the background and stuff, but on the girl itself, you've got that magenta kind of look, and you just don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that with the neural filter color eyes and what I like to call a protective selection. Let's go. All right. Well, as you can see, guys, in this video, we're going to explore the neural filter color eyes feature in Photoshop. This handy tool is a game changer when it comes to effortlessly fixing color casting in your photos. Now, and you can tell right here. You know, the background doesn't, it kind of looks cool because it's got a little bit of ambience and uh, what was going on that day. But the color cast on the girl herself, just horrible. So let's get rid of that. But the first thing I want to do, let's zoom in a bit, is I want to make a, what I like to call a protective selection around her. So what we'll do, we'll go over here and do object selection tool and just roughly draw around her. Let's get her knee there. I don't want the glass, but her arm. Let's see what it gets. Now that's pretty much a good selection there, except we got a little problem over here. So what we can do, hit your brush, make sure we're at 100%. Now hit your Q key and make sure you're painting with black. And let's just add that part. Now hit your Z key. Let's zoom in on what we got going on here. Now we don't want this glass in there. So let's go back to your brush, maybe reduce it a bit, and let's paint with white. Because we don't want that glass in there at all. There we go. But I want to get the rest of this. Let's see what it looks like here. Let's zoom out. Hit the Q key but we're still missing this section here. So once again, Q key, zoom in, and let's paint in this part right here. Make sure you're painting with black. And let's just get this section right here. Let's get a really good selection of this girl. All right, zoom out, Q key, and that's looking not too shabby. Zoom down, I wanna get more of her leg here. And this is the cool thing about using the Q key and your brush, because we can get the exact selection we want. So I'm gonna go right in here and grab this. Right. Cool, this is what I want. Zoom out. Now, what we can do here, we're going to go to select and we're going to go save selection. Let's just call it girl. We're going to use this selection when we go into the neural filter. So let's hit control D to deselect because I want to make this layer a smart object in case we want to make changes later. Let's go back, select, load selection, and girl. Bang, it's there. Very cool. Now, let's go up to filter. Neural filters. Now, let's go to color eyes and turn it on. And bam, color cast is gone. Yes, there are shadows there, which kind of is which is kind of cool, but I think I'm going to remove a couple of these shadows with a little extra bonus tip because the shadows are part of what was going on. Now, what we can do, let's scroll down over here and take the color artifact and make it about 20 Noise reduction about 20. Let's see what we got here. Two zero. All right, that looks good. Now you can colorize it in inside here if you want, but I think we got a good selection of the blue jeans here for later on. So hit okay. If you look over here, we've got that selection perfectly done right here. So what you can do is hold down control and hit the mask. Very cool. Let's make a new layer. I will just call it 
color. And we're going to change the blend mode to the magic of color. All right. Now, let's go up here to our eyedropper tool. I always usually have it set around 5x5. Five five. That's usually pretty good here. So we'll do B for your brush. Let's zoom in. And hold your alt key down. Let's grab a good representation of her jeans. Now, because we're using this selection, we don't have to worry about going outside or inside or anything. So let's just go over here, make sure we're painting with the color. So hit your X key. And we're just gonna go right over here and paint in the blue jean. And again, right here, reduce your brush a bit. And let's go right over here. And let's paint in her jeans. All right, I'm digging it. Now, what we can do, let's go zoom out here. Because of the shadows and stuff, her arm looks a little too pink. But that's cool. That's fine. You can you can fix it if you wish by taking a sample of her arm. Zoom in. Now make sure we're painting with the proper color. And we can go around and color in her shoulder and her arm. All right, very cool. Now we've got her jean color back. Now, if you want, Control D to deselect. Let's try a couple of blend modes. Does overlay look good? Nah. Soft light? Nope. Let's go back to color. I think color looks pretty good for this one. Now, as a bonus tip, let's use the magic of the unbelievable removal tool. So let's make a new layer. Call it removals. Now let's zoom in on her head a bit. Shadows are normal or natural whenever you're out somewhere, but if you want to get rid of a couple of them, I'm going to leave the one by her nose. So what we're going to do is I'm going to hit J. If it doesn't come up with a removal tool, just go over here, remove tool. Now up top, I've got sample all layers, but I always, always have remove after each stroke. Because what you can do is paint in what you want. Do one by her eyebrow here. Enter. And bang, gone. Very cool. Now, let's do the one in her chest area here. Let's just grab this. Enter. And it evens out the skin and everything. Doesn't that look much better? I really like this. All right, let's zoom in here a bit. And just look for some color problems. Just before we get out. And as you can see, we got a bit here. So what we can do, B for your brush. Let's go back to our color layer here. And let's just make sure that we got everything painted in that we want painted in. A little bit of the gene there. Move over. Now you can see there's a little bit of the gene here. So what we'll do is we'll hit our R key to rotate. So we can actually draw a half decent straight line. B for your brush tool. And let's just color that in there. If you want to do a good straight line. Let's change to the skin color, X. Fix that right about there. All right. R for rotate, escape. Now we've got great skin everywhere. I'm digging it. So let's put these three layers in a group and just call it overcast. Now, another bonus. Let's do a stamp visible layer and then we'll make it a smart object and go into camera raw. The center of attention should be on the girl here. 
So what we'll do is we'll do the cool part in camera raw here that I just love using, which is lens blur. It'll do its thing and it'll, it'll take the background and blur it just enough to make her the center of attention. And bam, it does exactly that. That is very cool. I'm digging it. Let's hit OK. One more cool thing we can do, stamp visible layer again. If you want, let's add a little bit more, uh, let's add a little more color or something to it. So let's go over to adjustments. Let's look at portraits. Sunshine, warmth, that's kind of cool. Moody, oh, I dig this. It does nice skin tone on and everything on her jeans. Everything. Yeah, let's stick with this. Moody blues, very cool. All right, with a few quick moves there, let's check it out. Before, after, before, after. Amazing transformation of a picture that might not have started out well, but now you're digging it. If you're getting anything out of these tutorials, please like and subscribe. Now, if you have an image in home that's got a color cast, give this a shot. I'd like to see how it turns out for you. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm done from 40911. See ya.